In the Quara State, where the five suspects involved in the offer bank robbery have been found guilty, Justice Halima Salman of the Quara State High Court in Lauren ruled that the suspects were found guilty for robbery and illegal possession of firearms, conspiracy to commit culpable homicide punishable by death. The judgment was meant to be delivered on the 2nd of August, but was put forward because of the August nationwide protest. Six suspects were arrested in connection with the bank robbery incident on the 5th of April 2018 in Offa, Quara State, but one of the suspects, Michael Adiku, died in police custody. Our correspondent in Quara State, Ibrahim Alege, joins me now. Um, Ibrahim, it took six years um, for judgment to be served on this case. Well, what more updates do you have as regards the processes and the penalties for the convicts? Well, absolutely, you are right, Nifemi. It took six years before justice can be delivered in this case. Recall that uh, the incident happened in 2018, uh, precisely on the 5th of April in 2018. And the suspects were arrested and the trial actually began on the 11th of uh, November same 2018. So from then till now, that's almost six years. But during this period, uh, we had uh, COVID-19, and of course, uh, the trial judge was also, you know, on an assignment on election petition tribunal, and, uh, you know, some of this, uh, you know, actually led to delay. And uh, just like the lawyer has said, uh, it's better, you know, the judgment is better delayed than, you know, to be denied. So that was why, you know, we had this delay. But at the end of the day, all the five suspects you know, uh, are sentenced to death by hanging. But that may not be the end of it uh, because the counsel to the uh, defendant said they are going to appeal the judgment. Uh, interestingly, the person who represented them today because the lead counsel to the defendant was not around today, but somebody who, uh, the counsel who stood in for him said they were expecting that judgment, that it was going to go that way uh, based on the fact that uh, uh, the court proceedings so far that they, has, they had expected that they be sentenced to death, but they are prepared to go for an appeal. So today they've been whisked away to the correctional facilities, expecting that the council will come up with the appeal on time. And uh, so far, so good. It's been a story that everybody has been following. People have been waiting for it. It's taken six years, and today the judgment has been delivered on three count uh, uh, charge. Uh, the first one is. Uh, uh, illegal, illegal possession of firearm, uh, the judge sentenced them to three years imprisonment each, uh, but for conspiracy to um, robbery and of course armed robbery and then um, uh, culpable homicide, they are sentenced to death. And that is the maximum sentence that anybody can you know, get because it's a capital uh, offense. Brian Malega, live for us, inquiry.